How's it going, everybody? Chris Cards here with a quick vlog on my trip to Tacoma to see AEW's Wrestle Dream pay per view from Saturday, October 12th, 2024. Uh, this was my second year in a row at Wrestle Dream and the third AEW pay per view I've attended. I was also at Double or Nothing in 2022, the infamous Hangman Punk Man event. This main event was much different as it spelled the end of Brian Danielson's full time in ring career. I was really excited to attend my first event here at the Tacoma Dome. Uh, probably not as nice as last year's venue, the Climate Pledge Arena, but man, I like these old grimy buildings, and I've driven by it so many times. I always wanted to see the inside of it and see a show here, and I got to do just that this last weekend. Some of the wood on the rafters in this building came from felled trees from the Mount St. Helens volcano eruption way back in 1980. Absolutely incredible. It doesn't get any more Pacific Northwest than this building. I didn't get a ton of video during the event, uh, but from my floor seat, I was able to capture some unique moments from the main event, uh, including the entrances that I think and hope you guys get a kick out of. Also, I wound up collecting the most random piece of memorabilia I currently own, and I own a lot of stuff. Uh, my wife would call it crap. I call it stuff, but some of it's crap, probably. You guys can be the judge on this piece. Uh, it's a true one of one, and I think I have enough evidence to prove I now own what I own. You guys can be the judge of that. I'll make my case at the end of the video. Uh, thanks, guys, who saw my sign and are checking out my channel uh, and my sign from my other shows I've been to. Thanks for watching.
talk about disappointing the crowd, although he was always going to lose. I'm not sure why everyone was so shocked about it or upset about it. He uh, was pretty beat up. His last few matches weren't that great. This match, if you watch it back on pay-per-view, wasn't that great. Moxley really protected him and took care of him throughout the match. So he really was beat up. He needed to drop the belt, and he needed to go get his neck surgery and everything else fixed with him that's wrong. There's no guarantee he'll ever wrestle again. Hopefully he does get cleared and come back on a part-time basis, and we have some more awesome matches like the Zack Sabre Jr. matchup we had last year's Wrestle Dream, which is still one of my favorite live matches I've ever seen in person. So there you guys go. I had a great uh, vantage point from my floor seats. I threw my sign in the camera a bunch of times, probably annoyed a bunch of people. I don't care. There's Layla Gray, Top Flight, Leo Rush, and Action Andretti sitting right by me. They just put up five seats right there. And people coming back from concessions, it was pretty funny because they were like, well, where where'd these guys come from? Super confusing. Of course, I was ready with my sign, guys. Stone Cold Killer with that sign, so... Of course, uh, my wife was with me as well. She wasn't as excited about the show as I was, but she's also on my little heart picture if anyone wondered what the heart's about. so. And uh, let's talk about my piece of memorabilia I got. You guys can probably figure it out from this right here, but that water bottle is now in my possession. He slams it on the ground. This guy with a white hat sat right next to us, and when Moxie came out, he jumped out in front of me. The, mo the bottle actually went and hit him in the foot. He picks it up right here. Walks over to his buddy that's sitting, there's three of them sitting together next to me and my wife. He puts it down on the floor, and he, I take a picture of it while it's on the floor, because I know he's going to leave it there when he leaves, because he made a joke about selling it on eBay. I'm like, okay. And uh, here it is, guys. There is John Moxley's water bottle with uh, a different cap on it, because I, I think he chucks the cap, but that was not the cap. That's not the right cap for that bottle. But there it is, the Arrowhead water bottle from John Moxley's fourth uh, title pre-walkout uh, match victory against Brian Danielson and maybe his last match ever. So <laughs> uh, I think I documented enough of this water bottle uh, to prove that this was it. You can even see it's pretty banged up if you go back and watch me twirl it around a little bit. It's pretty beat up and hit the floor pretty good. So uh, I don't know if you can actually screen match this. Maybe you can, uh, but obviously I don't, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. I just... I just knew those guys were going to leave it there. I was going to take it, and I was like, okay, well, I got I got this water bottle from John Moxley uh, from his entrance of uh, uh, Wrestle Dream 2024. Definitely a weird piece of memorabilia. It's one of those things, like, you can't sell or, or market to anybody because no one's going to – it could just be any random Arrowhead bottle, but it's not. It's his. I mean, uh, you know, it's and I think I've got enough documentation where I could sell it to someone and be like, yeah, this really is – the water bottle he used because he literally threw it at my feet. So uh, we'll, we'll see. What do you guys think? Do you think that would pass the mustard? I mean, uh, make me an offer on this water bottle um, because I have so much stuff. I don't know what to do with it. And uh, if you're a super big John Moxie fan and like really weird stuff, this is pretty weird. So that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll link some other wrestling videos I do. I don't do wrestling videos as much as my other baseball videos. So um, if you came to Chris Card's channel, seeing my sign on a wrestling show, uh, I've had that sign up on, um, that sign's a few years old now. I've been in Portland, uh, Seattle, and of course, Las Vegas. I've gotten that sign on TV a bunch. So uh, keep an eye out for future shows. I'll try to get it on. Uh, it's pretty beat up. It's pretty much 90% tape now. Uh, here's back when it was brand new, and now it's it's pretty beat up. But uh, uh, had a great time at the show. Always fun. I went to Raw a few weeks ago as well when I was in Portland. That was also a great show. I went to Raw. Last time I went to Raw was uh, 20, 2000. It was Chris Benoit and Ric Flair in the main event. That's how long ago it was. And it was a fun show, but it was really boring. Uh, it was a long, a long show and really boring uh, commercial break. So uh, uh, they did a lot of fun stuff between commercial breaks this time and a three-hour Raw and uh, kept it lively. And the three hours went right by. So... I am a fan of AEW. I'm a, a fan of uh, post Vince McMahon uh, WWE. I think they're doing a great job over there. And uh, I'm not one of those uh, guys that tribalists that take sides. Um, I love the wrestling in AEW. Um, I wish the storylines were better than they were and are. Maybe they'll get better. Who knows? Uh, but I uh, going to uh, their pay per view is an automatic because I haven't seen a bad AEW pay per view yet. They're they're automatic. They're always awesome and they're great to see live. And I, you gotta be, you gotta be up on the rafters a little bit. Uh, Tacoma Dome, I don't think it was a bad seat in the house. Um, the floor seats didn't go back far enough to really be a bad seat. Uh, Climate Pledge last year, they went back way far, and uh, people started standing up. You couldn't see anything, so it was a bummer. Even though I'm pretty tall, six three, 
I can see over a lot of people, but it's just not a comfortable way of seeing a show, especially if you're watching the big screen half the time. So um, really enjoyed uh, Wrestle Dream. Uh, the floor seats, uh, 400 and uh, I wrote it down. 463.50 with fees uh, times two, me and my wife. So uh, that's the math on that's how much the seat costs. So uh, it was worth it. They weren't giving away seats. Uh, last year they had a Wrestle Dream chair. I think the first two rows got it. Um, so I wouldn't have gotten one anyway, but they didn't do Wrestle Dream chairs this year, which is a bummer. I hope they're not cutting that out of the budget because uh, the, the tickets are certainly not any cheaper. But um, I did love the Wrestle Dream chair. I always try to buy one on uh, – uh, I had a couple hundred bucks in my wallet actually to buy one. Uh, at the show but they did not have a wrestle dream chair so that was a bummer anyway guys let me know what you guys thought of this pay-per-view thanks for watching uh check out those that aren't interested in my other baseball videos uh, check out some of my other wrestling videos i'll link up here at the end and uh that's it my friends see ya